In this video, we're going over how to transfer all of your data from an old phone to your Samsung Galaxy A12. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us for another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below and also consider subscribing so you can stay up to date whenever we post new videos. And also follow us on Amazon so you can join us when we go live to talk about our favorite tech recommendations. All right, let's jump right into our video. I'm gonna be walking you through how to transfer all of your data from an old phone to a new phone to your new Samsung Galaxy A12. Um, it's super easy. Samsung actually has some cool features built into the settings that make this um, very seamless for you as long as you know where to go. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that now. The first thing you will need to do is swipe down from the top of the screen in the upper right corner, tap on the settings wheel right here. And you'll want to come down to the accounts tab, accounts and backup right here and you'll wanna come down to the smart switch section. It says bring data from old phone. From here, you'll need to specify, well, first it will usually trigger an update, so do your software update. Now, while your um, A12 is updating on your older phone, you will need to go to the Play Store and you'll just need to do a search for smart switch. And with the Smart Switch app, this is gonna allow you to link the two phones together and just hit install. Now make sure you look for this blue icon and I'm just gonna tap on it so you can see it bigger. So it's gotta be Samsung Smart Switch Mobile. This is the specific one that we're looking for. Um, there are some cases where um, it won't show up on the phone. And so if that does happen, I will have a link below in the description of where you can download the Samsung Smart Switch app. So um, again, if you do a search in the Play Store, it doesn't show up. Just go down to the description section below of this video and you'll have a link that says download Samsung Smart Switch and that will allow you to download the latest version on your old phone. So then we can link the two phones together. Okay, so our uh, app has updated on the Galaxy A12. We're gonna go back again to the bring your data from old phone option. And then from here, actually after you hit it the first time, it's gonna automatically download the app for you. So you'll just need to swipe up on the home screen, swipe to your left. Oh, there we go. I guess it just takes a minute to come up, but let me just check to make sure. So there it is. So the first time you hit it in the settings, it will automatically download the Smart Switch app on your phone and uh, then it will open up. So we downloaded it, we updated it, and now we're ready to go. So we're gonna hit agree on our old phone, hit continue, hit allow. And this is just getting the old phone ready. Allow all the options here. And once you finish, we'll hit let's go. And then now on the new phone, on the A12, we're gonna hit receive data. And it's gonna ask you the type of phone. In this case, we're uh, moving data from an Android phone right here. Now just to show you, this will also work with iPhones too. So if you tap on the iPhone option, it will give you some, some options on how to bring that data over from your iPhone, so FYI. For this case, we're gonna hit Galaxy or uh, Android, and we're gonna do it wireless. Um, just as a note, the uh, using a cable is faster, but you do have to buy an additional accessory to make that work. So I'm gonna show the wireless option in the video because I'm gonna assume you don't have that cable and I still wanna make sure you're able to do the transfer. So we hit wireless. We're gonna hit disconnect. It's gonna disconnect you from Wi-Fi so that it's faster. And now on the old phone, we're gonna hit wireless as well. And now uh, both phones are gonna be looking for each other to uh, do the link up here. So we'll just give it a second and then you'll see what it looks like. Invitation from Galaxy A12, perfect. Hit accept, perfect. So it has uh, connected here. It says connected to Galaxy A12. This is all the data that it found on the old phone. Now, uh, just to um, 
and give you some context. I don't have a lot of information on this old phone. Your process is gonna take a lot longer than what you just saw. If you have you know, lots of text messages and you know, a ton of photos and videos, it's gonna take a couple of minutes for it to find all that data to get you to this screen. So if yours didn't go as fast as you saw in the video, don't worry, it's gonna take longer on your phone. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. So here's the cool part I just wanna show before we move on. So the Smart Switch app, takes a lot more than a lot of the other apps that are available. And one of the biggest things that it takes is uh, text messages. You can actually have it move over text messages from your old phone, which is such a game changer and most apps won't allow you to do that. So uh, just to show you here, it found a couple of text messages, my call log, my contacts, my Google account. Um, it's gonna, you know, put a copy of all the apps I had. It won't necessarily move all the app data and that's another important thing. For most apps, you will need to sign in again. And if you have a specific app that uh, has app data, it doesn't always pull that. So just know that going in. But in terms of all your pictures, all your videos, I didn't have any music on that phone, but it would take music, your voice recordings and documents and files. We're gonna hit transfer. Um, and it says to transfer your accounts, you do need to turn on Wi-Fi and connect to a Wi-Fi network. So um, for, for this particular case, uh, I'm gonna do that, but you, you don't have to do this step. If you don't have access to a Wi-Fi network, don't worry, it's still gonna allow you to do the transfer. In fact, yeah, let's go ahead and hit turn on now. It's gonna connect to Wi-Fi. And so if you do have Wi-Fi where you are, this is a good thing to do because it's gonna also move over your Google account and that's gonna save you a lot of extra setup for the new phone too. So, um, however, if you already have your Google account set up on the new phone, you can skip this step. So that's just one thing to note. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi real fast. Um, and it already connected here to that network. So now I'm just gonna hit my back button here. And now I'm gonna hit transfer and here it is. So it's now gonna start transferring over. You will get this pop-up on the old phone. And again, this is if you're trying to transfer over a Google account, it will ask you to uh, put in your uh, pin or your uh, password or use your fingerprint. It just needs to verify um, the account owner of this phone so it can move that account over to the new phone. So. Sweet, it's now gonna to begin to copy everything and then it's gonna transfer. And what I like to do is I will check this box here and it says keep the screen on and this will allow you to see like where it is in the process of transferring all the files. Um, I do encourage you to plug in both phones to uh, a charger if you have one handy because uh, if, you have a, if you have a lot of data on the old phone, this could take over an hour to transfer. So you just wanna be prepared that your battery is gonna drain a little bit and you wanna make sure that it doesn't die while it's trying to do the transfer. So the cool thing is um, the phone on the right, your Galaxy A12 will always give you a percentage. So you will know um, how far you are in the process. And I would encourage you, go get something to eat, go take a nap. Don't think about it. The, the software is gonna do all the work. Once you're at this step, there's nothing else you need to select. You just need to let the software transfer all your files. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I get so many questions from people about how do I bring over my data from my old phone? And so I wanted to do a thorough video to show you guys the entire process and make it easy for you. And maybe if the store you went to to buy your phone, they didn't do it for you, it's okay. You can do it right from home uh, following the step-by-step -step instructions of this video. So. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.